Hey guys, what's going on here today? And welcome back to what is really the second part of this actual series um, of the first episode because it's going to be the biggest BPL downgrade today in FIFA 16, in my opinion. First, we're going to start with Tim Howard here. This guy had a shocking season. Everton, of course, basically nearly getting relegated at the end. Uh, if we're getting down below 80 now, 79 red goal, I reckon. Not been good. Like for USA, he was alright in the cup and um, that gold cup, but it wasn't really great. Then we have Mangala here. This guy had a horrendous start to the season and he's, he's got a little bit better recently, but I think he'll get downgraded a lot. If end up being non-rare as well but I don't know he's a very very bad player this year um just feel like how much you paid for him then we have Dej and Lovren this guy got an upgrade uh, uh, he got an upgrade this year I mean he was probably the worst defender in the Premier League like to a level uh, he was so so bad it was actually horrible watching Liverpool last year and he was the main reason why and then next here we have Alan Hutton this guy oh my god Aston Villa he he made last year 13 mistakes that led to goals 13 <laughs> this guy, and he still played the week in week out, never did anything really. Like, when he was there, I think they only got three clean sheets, something like that, it was shocking. Uh, Tom Cleverley next, um, just the absolute, just a useless player really. I don't know how he still gets in the Premier League, to be honest. He deserves to be a Championship player, if not a League One. He is so bad, like, again this year, um, not good. Mikhail Arteta basically, this guy's done nothing that wrong really, but he's just aging, isn't he? Like, getting older, not really going to play. When he has played, he's not been great, like, he's not been worthy of a place in the Arsenal team this year. Eric Lamella, another player that looked like he was going to be amazing coming to BPR and still didn't impress this year. Did pretty much nothing once again and then apart from that Rabona goal did that. Apart from that he's done absolutely nothing so a bit of a shame. I'm really looking forward to him playing well but never happened. Antonio Valencia next. He had a position swap and he still plays bad. I've actually downgraded all his stats off his defending has to go up really because he's not been that bad at defending like but attacking he's so bad it's unreal. Like he started off in the first season so and then next five Cow, oh my days! The biggest, like, I think he's even worse than Balotelli in the Premier, in my opinion. He'll see probably next. Um, 83 rate, he's got to drop a lot. There's no way he can be worthy of a position. Like, even an 83 card, that's probably harsh in my opinion. But yeah, um, maybe a little bit. But you know, Mario Balotelli here, this guy's got to drop below an 80. He's had a horrendous season. But I don't think my opinion on Balotelli is he does not get to play. I'd love to see him play, like, for a few games in a row. I reckon he'd be a decent player. No sense him, Roberto Soldado. How this guy's at Tottenham, I'll never understand. The only thing he's decent at is penalties. He does nothing else. He's just like another player that just seems to be there for the banter, really. I don't know what he's actually doing. I don't know if he's getting paid as well, actually. To be playing in that team, it must be horrendous, like how much that wage bill actually is from him. But that is a team, guys. If you haven't done this video, make sure you leave a like. You might not agree with me on all of them because, I mean, you might support a team, whatever. Just tell me down below who else you think has played really bad this year. Who don't you think deserves to be in there? But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.